Hey, so you know what's down there. It's another episode of Retro Robbie Roulette, where you are the winner. So let's see. We got six packs there from Ryan's Vintage Card still. And we got a giveaway last week's winner here. So you're going to get that 10 pack and you're going to get a whole bunch of Royals because the Royals got picked really heavily uh, last week. So included in that is that really really retro-y, uh, disco-y Billy Butler from Bowman, and you're going to get that Ed Kirkpatrick from 1973 top. So you're going to get a vintage in there as well, and I included a 10-pack. Looks like J.D. Drew is on the back for you. So you're going to get that 10-pack. You're going to get that card, and we got to pick who is going to win this week. So let's pull the screen up, and there it is. And let me zoom in a teeny bit. And there we go. And let's see how many YouTube comments we got this week. We've got 24, so they're kind of creeping up there. So let's get your free crazy bread there from Little Caesars if you want. But let's pick the winner. You care about the winner, not Little Caesars. So let's go. Let's see who we get. And this week's going to be Autographs 2000. Oh, my gosh. The guy just keeps winning and winning. This is the luckiest guy on the earth. I'm going to take him to Vegas with me. We're going to have some fun because he always seems to win. So Autographs 2000, you're going to get that back. Again, just send me an email. I have your email address because you keep winning every time. You're going to make a lot of people pissed. <laughs> so there you go. There you do get that winning pack as well. So let me know. I know you won also Sunday. So uh, give me that. Give me that just the verification. And again, I'll put it all together in your pack. So congratulations, Autograph 2000. He is on a streak like no one's business. A guy always seems to win. So here we go. We got the packs. We got to pick two packs here. So I got all scrambled up. So let's pick the first winner. So here we go. So round and round she goes. And that first one is going to be pack number six. Pack number six is going to be the first pack here. Oh, there we go. And let's go pick the second pack. So here we go. So pack six was first. And the second one looks like it's going to be nine or four. Nine or four looks like it's going to be number nine. So we got six and nine here. Oh, there we go. And we're going to move over here. We're going to shuffle it up. And we're going to pick those two teams right now. So here we go. There goes the wheel. And let's see what that first team is going to be. And it looks like that first team is going to be the Blue Jays. Blue Jays are the first team. So there we go. And we're going to close that out. And we're going to shuffle it one more time. And let's spin it again. And there goes the wheel. And let's see where it stops the second time. And it's going to be Marlins. So Marlins and Blue Jays. You know what? Since we had the Marlins there, we're going to do a third one because... Marlins is not that good, so we'll do a third spin as well. And that third team is going to be the Athletics. So we got three teams this week. We got Blue Jays, we got Marlins, we got Athletics. So let's bring that down here. And there we go. And we will zoom that out for you. And there we go. And we got six and nine this week. So there we go. We'll set that aside for the future episodes. And there we go. And we're going to pick that first one right now. And there we go. Boom. We got the Baltimore Orioles the first one on a 55 Bowman. So very nice. We're going to start out on a 55 Bowman. Get some major vintage going on here. Oh, there is the first card. That 55 is row from the Baltimore Orioles. Again, there's a big old crease in the middle. But if you don't have it, you're going to take it. So... That's the first card, number 216, Preacher Row. So, like I said, unfortunately, a big old crease down the middle, as you can see right there. But still, a nice card to get. So we will take that first vintage card of the pack. So here we go. The second one's going to be Doyle Alexander. Get my Tiger's Law there. Oh, 89 Bowman. So that is our first card, 1989 Bowman of Doyle Alexander. After that, we got Dave Counts on the Cincinnati Reds on 88 score. And after that, we've got John Crock from the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, look like he's at Wrigley there on a 92 Dunruss. So we will take that. And after that, we got 1983 O-O-O-O-P-G. OPG cards. Oh, yeah. Len 
Barker from the Cleveland Indians on a 83 OPG. So here we go. And the next one's going to be vintage. And we got Dave Marshall of the San Diego Padres. So let's see if that's tops from Peachies from 73 there. And it's going to be an OPG and a nice higher number one. So very nice. 513. We got Dave Marshall there of the San Diego Padres. After that, we got uh, Chuck Tanner there from the Atlanta Braves on 87 tops. And after that, we got Joaquin Sendong of the uh, Houston Astros there on the 91 upper deck. And after that, we got another Cincinnati Red Legs of Grady Hayton. And that was going to be a reprint. So there it is. It's those 92 reprints. So I might have to buy a box of those one of these days. They're cheap. They're kind of neat to look at. So very nice. There's Grady Hayton of Cincinnati Reds. And after that, from the Houston Astros, Got Jose Cruz on 81 OPG, so very nice. Looks like a lot of Astros in this pack this time around. So here we go after that. We got from San Francisco Giants. We got Marcus Jensen on a Bowman there, and that's going to be a 1996 Bowman. So very nice from the San Francisco Giants. So no, it looks like we're getting our first winner, though, right here in the next card. And it's going to be Ray Burris of the Oakland A's on a 1985 Tops. So there it goes. That is going to go to you, the winner. So there it is. There's a first winner card right there. After that, from the Seattle Mariners, we got Jimmy Anderson out of 81 uh, Fleer for the Seattle Mariners. Oh, very nice. And after that, from the Milwaukee Brewers, we got Kevin Reamer. Uh, the Milwaukee Brewers are in an A3 leaf, so we will take that. And here comes our autograph. And it's going to be Cubs. I'm going to get some Cubs autograph love there on uh, Rolando Romez. So look at that autograph, man. That is a crazy great autograph. So there he is on a 89 Donruss, Rolando Romez. So get some Cubs love there. Very right, nice. We will take that autograph. And set that aside there for me. And up next, and it's going to be upside down there from the Texas Rangers. We got Juan Gonzalez. So we got Juan gone there on an 893 Fleer. So just set off, get, see if I can get more autographs from him. So let's see what we get it and give it away as a winner card. So after that, from the Milwaukee Brewers, we got Jim Gardner on 85 Leaf. So there he is. Go for the bunt there. Very nice. And after that, from the Los Angeles Dodgers, we got Stan Williams there on a 61 tops. Oh, we will take that. Very nice card there. A little off-centered. Uh, looks like a little wet stain there, unfortunately. What are you going to do? I don't have that card, so I'm going to take it. That is number 190 on 1961. And after that, we got Steve Bedrock Bedrosian this there. This is Steve Bedrock Bedrosian. 87 Peachy. Oh, very nice. Get the Bedrock there. So there is Bedrock Bedrosian on an old peachy. And after that, we got uh, Todd Hollinsworth from uh, Flair there, 1997, from the Los Angeles Dodgers. All chromey refractory, so Flair there. So very nice. We will take that. After that, we got another old peachy there. So we got Rick Mahler on 83 old peachy. Get my old peachy love there. So there he is, Rick Mahler. Oh, the Atlanta Braves. And after that, we got Greg Brock on a 91 Fleer Ultra for the Milwaukee Brewers. And after that, got another uh, vintage one there. We got the 71 Senators, rookies of Norm McGray and Denny Riddleberger. So don't know either one of those two. So a little scratch right there, but it is a top. So 71 tops, number 93, Norm McGray and Denny Riddleberger. So... There's another vintage to the stack. And after that, we got Bobby Mercer there of the New York Yankees on those 2001 Tops archives. I really should see how much those cost. I like to try open a box of those one of these days. I kind of like their cards and all that. It's kind of cool. So after that, last one is going to be Gary Templeton on 88 score for the San Diego Padres. Oh, there we go. There is the first pack done. Only one winner card. So hopefully... We get some more out of there for you guys. 
Oh, uh, if not, we just do a 10 pack. So here we go. Number nine. Boom. We're going to start out with the Wade Boggs there. So get the Wade Boggs on a 91 score there, it looks like. So from the Boston Red Sox. Never go wrong with a Wade Boggs card. Uh, always holds his value, as you know. So there it is, Wade Boggs on the 91 score. So there we go. And up next, we got a fair for some vintage of this bag. We got Ron Bloomberg there out of 73 for the New York Yankees. Let's see if it's Tops or Opeachy. And it's going to be an Opeachy. So number 462, another higher number card on the 73 Opeachies. And I just noticed in Beckett's, these have gone up in prices. So it's kind of cool to get the 73 Ovici set. So, and with Ryan's Vintage Cars, I'm doing a good job of it. So there it is. We got Ron Bloomberg there on that 73 Ovici. And today I got another Ovici going on Ovici run here. Let's have an 86 Tops, Sammy Stewart, Red Sox, Orioles. I don't know which one, but they tell me he's now with the Red Sox. So... It's a Red Sox, so we will take that. So 86, oh, peachy. After that, we've got Jim Abbott there on a 91 score for the California Angels. After that, because the Cubs love on an 82, oh, peachy. And that's going to be Bill Buckner there. So very nice. I will take that. That is a sharp card there of oh, Bill Buckner. And after that, we've got Andy Bennis, uh, San Diego Padres on a 90 tops. And after that... Very nice, our vintage cards there, 1968. We got Pete Clemino of the California Angels. So let's flip that around. Oops, if it will let me. And there we go, and that is number 143. So that is nice, 1968 tops of Pete Clemino. And after that, we got 1990, our Fleer there, of oh, Gary Gaetti of the Minnesota Twins. We got Guy Hoffman of oh, Cincinnati Reds on 88. Fleer, and after that, we're gonna get some Cubs love. We're gonna get Keith Marlin there on 1987 Dunruss. So there he is. That is a Diamond King. And after that, we're gonna get some a Philadelphia Philly and uh, offer some reprint not valid and a 2001 reprint of. Uh, Robin Robert, Roberts, oh, uh, it is a reprint, not the original. So it looks like it's from 2001 Dunruss, some Tops Company. So I'll look that up. I'll give you the price of that one for sure. Uh, Robin Robbins, all the Philadelphia Phillies on our Bowman or Tops reprint from 2001. And after that, we got Bo Jackson. Bo knows. Bo knows baseball. We got Bo there as the 89 Tops leaders. After that, we got our... Uh, Autograph card. We got Tracy Jones on 88 Fleer. So look at that autograph. That is awesome. Look, he has an awesome autograph. Look at that. He is wild with a pen there. So there he is, Tracy Jones with the Cincinnati Reds. That is our second autograph. And after that, from the Kansas City Royals, we got uh, Jeremy Gambini on the tops there. Looks like 2099 rookie. Yeah, 992,000. Very chromey refractory from tops there. Uh, there it is. 1999 AM 19. So it probably is an insert of some sort. It is the tops all matrix. So very uh, psychedelic y, chromey. Ooh, getting all that. We got Christmas stars there. Well, you know. There we go. After that, we got a checklist. Because you can never have a check, no checklist. This was a 1984 checklist from OPG from my friends up north in Canada. I thank you for your OPG cards. And after that, that is Alan Ripley of the San Francisco Giants on a 1982 Tops. And after that, we got 1970. Uh, it's either going to be Tops or OPG. It's going to be Paul Edmondson from the Chicago White Sox. Let's see if it's Tops or OPG. And that is going to be a Tops print in the USA, 414. So middle of the series there. So 1970 there of uh, Paul Edmondson. Oh, there we go. And after that, we are going to get from the Atlanta Braves, Fred McGriff. So bottom squad, Connor Donruss showing his 1994 homers of 34. So very nice. 1995 Donruss there. There's the back. 
Oh, very nice. And on the back, as well as, didn't see that, it's a double card. So it's an insert from Dunruss. And there's Jose Canseco with the Texas Rangers. So that is a Dunruss insert of the Bomb Squad. So very nice card there. After that, we've got a 1981 Dunruss of John Lowenstein. Uh, so very nice. Oh, the Baltimore Oreos. And after that, we got the Heritage there. Love my Heritage cards, as you know. This one is Willie Tavares. Oh, the Houston Astros. Very nice card there. And after that, get some more Tigers Love. Got some Lance Parrish there out of 86 tops. Get my Tigers Love. And after that, we got Joe Giraldi of oh, the Chicago Cubs on those ugly 91 Fleer Big Bird yellow cards. And after that, wow. And again, the teams we chose. So we got Bruce Hurst on 88 Leaf for the Boston Red Sox. And the last card is going to be Manny Ramirez on the sports flicks there for the Cleveland Indians. So Manny Ramirez in depth. Oh, that is 1995 sports flicks. So there we go. And that is it. And unfortunately, only one winner card. Wow. You know, I probably choose three teams. I thought Blue Jays would show up. They usually do. And they just didn't show up today. So that's the way the wheel goes. I'll pick nine other cards from here, and you'll get those as well as this Ray Burris. They all can't be winners. I'll try to throw something decent in there for you. That is for sure. I'll, I'll make sure of that. And hopefully, I find something good value there. So, I'll give that to you. But hey, we got some good vintage cards there. Got that nice 1955 Bowman of Preacher Row. It's creased, but we will take it. I got some more. I got 1970 tops there of Paul and Munson. And after that, we got a 68 Pete Clemino of the California Angels. And we got a 1973 OPG around Bloomberg. 1971 top Senators of Norm McGray and Denny Riddleberger. And I got 1961 Stan Williams there of the LA Dodgers. And that last card is going to be Dave Marshall of the San Diego Padres. I'm a 73 Oh, peachy. So, autographs. We got two really nice ones. They got awesome signatures. We got Tracy Jones there of the Cincinnati Reds on 88 Fleer. And we got this Rolando Romez of the Chicago Cubs. And that is on an 89 Dunruss. So, thank you for those autographs from Ryan's Vintage Cards. Like I said, they all can't be winners, unfortunately. But we'll pick some out of there for you. We'll give that Ray Burris away, 85 tops, and some nine other cards from the stack. So just leave a comment, and you can win next week. So leave a comment, be a subscriber, and it could be yours. So thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.